Hey, what's up, Cleaners Connect? Courtney, DeAndre won our second job today. This customer right here, guys, this is his second time using us. Uh, we cleaned his older home about three weeks ago, and now we're at the new house doing a sectional sofa and also one rug. Uh, guys, a lot of things, um, or a lot of times, you again, we're not offering the customer benefits. I asked Mr. Mullen, I said, Mr. Mullen, um, how often are you guys going to be using the sofa? He said, oh, Courtney, we're going to be using a lot. We're also going to have a baby on it, and sometimes the baby have accidents. Well, then, guys, I explained to him the benefits of adding a protection to the uh, sofa. And you know what he told me? He said, Courtney, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, got a whole new um, gallon of Sager Sealer, which I, I use on all my upholstery. And I told him, you know, I gave him the price of it. It's half price of the cleaning. And again, guys, he appreciates that I even offered it to him because it's going to benefit him um, of not only having it clean, but also having, having it protected. So this is what we're doing today. You got the sectional sofa. DeAndre right now is just cleaning the base of the sofa. And then he's going to hit the pillows, both sides. And again, it's not bad, but again, you know, these are the kind of customers that keep their um, property investments well maintained. And then also we're going to be doing this over here outside. And then after we're done with the sofa, we want to clean that rug right there. All right, guys, don't be afraid to offer your customer benefits. They'll appreciate it just as much as you. It's a win-win. We get to make more money. They get to get their stuff uh, protected. All right.
<laughs> all right guys we just got through cleaning the sofa and the rug for mr and mrs mulling uh they are moving into their new home and i did notice that there was a lot of scuff marks into these uh hardwood floors which are pergo floors uh just by looking at the floors with my experience i think the last owner put some kind of store brought store bought product on these floors and what it is is basically the wax um that's basically trying to come off the floors so what i'd like to do just to be sure i come in with my acrylic wax test and they're just going to see if it is a wax on the floor this is the product that i'm using let that sit and then i'm going to do is take a microfiber towel wipe that and you see that See how it's like real gooey? This wax that's on these floors. You see that? So you see the difference? Now, now you see when I wipe this, I wipe this up, you see that guys? This is how the floor is supposed to look and feel, not sticky. So when I touch right here, it feels nice and smooth. When I touch right here, it feels sticky. So there is a lot of acrylic wax. Hey, Chris, yes. let me show you for a second. So just so you can see what I did. So if you take your finger, rub right here. See how it's nice and smooth? Mm -hmm. I rub the other, just see it's sticky and yeah. kind of hard to push your finger. So do you have a lot? So what happened is, again, I see this a lot, okay. especially when people are moving in or out. Uh, people put these store-bought products, Mop and Glow, Rejuvenate, uh, Quick Shine, Bona on the floors. And what happened is, as your people will look at the floor, they say, oh, my floors have scratches. And it's not scratches. It's basically people dragging stuff across the floors and it's trying to peel that wax off. That top yes, wax. yep. Now I have seen some situations where they have put so much wax on it, <laughs> they have to get the floor sanded. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but unfortunately you see that small layer right here and you can feel the floors mm -hmm. under here. So that's a very small layer. See how smooth okay. that feels? Yeah. Yeah, Just feel that DeAndre. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it's sticky. Yeah, it's sticky, yes. Yeah. And the thing about it is in the summertime, uh, spring and summertime, when it gets hot in the house, mm -hmm. that wax actually starts to soften up. So sometimes you'll even see people walk on the floors and you'll see their footprints or their shoe prints in the wax. Okay. Yep. So what I can go ahead and do is, um, I'm going to go ahead and do is. Let's see why you're here. You want to measure? Yep, measure okay. and give you a price on it Perfect. to get this wax removed off your floors. Okay. And that's not going to damage the floor. Right? No, no, it's not going to damage the floor. Yeah, I got a lot of videos on YouTube and yeah, Facebook that you can look. It feels a lot better. Yeah, that's how the floor is supposed to feel. Okay, yep. absolutely. Yes, sir. So I'm going to give you a uh, measure of this and give you a price on it. Okay. Now, one thing about it, actually, I got to go look at another lady's floor this afternoon. We gave her a price on it, but she just doesn't know what she's going to do with all the furniture. So another thing about it, too, we do require that there's no furniture yep. in the way um, to get, you know, Understood. access to the floors. And also, we don't damage the furniture while we're uh, removing it. Yes. So, so you end up putting new carpet upstairs. I haven't got it. You haven't got to it yet? Okay. Now, for example, you see right here, Chris? Mm -hmm. 
You see that? That's a prime example. You see that square? Oh, yeah, that's when they had a rug. That's when they had a rug. They actually put the wax around the rug. So that's how your floor should originally look. Okay. Yep. That's big. Yeah, see it. <laughs> yeah. It's a big difference. See, feel that? Yep. What the heck? Yep. There you go, right there. That's crazy. And that's your big acrylic wax test right there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that's, that's what crazy. happened. Okay. When, yep. Well, yeah, let's measure it. Yeah, let's measure it. Yep. Because I've got a couch coming for here uh -huh. on Monday. Okay. So, all those scuff so marks. Wednesday, but... All right, let me go let's get see my. Let's see what we can. Do. All righty. One less thing for me to <laughs> Exactly. All right, guys. We also uh, can offer that service. We see that a lot. And I advise customers do not put that stuff on your floors because it will ruin your floors and it will cost you a pretty uh, piece of change to get it removed off the floor, which is better than sanding or replacing the floors. So we actually remove that uh, for a fraction of the cost of sanding or replacing. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get these floors measured. Give uh, Mr. Mullen a price on this. See you in the next one.